So since the career of an NFL player is a relatively short one as a professional football player, how does the NFL help uh, players transition to the next part of their professional mm -hmm. life? Well, while they're actively playing, we have a series of mandatory programs as well as other programs to assist with the transition. So the first, I'll just start with the mandatory. So we, for the drafted players, every um, June, we have what we call the Rookie Symposium, and it's for all of the drafted rookies to attend, and it's basically a three and a half day life skills summit where there are um, different panel discussions about policy, um, players who lost their money, players who had some challenges transitioning, players who have successfully transitioned. And we feel as though our model is using peer-to-peer -peer communication because um, you can live it, you can see it when the person that's communicating with you has experienced what you are already experiencing, maybe not to the same level. Um, and then we partner that with other, uh, obviously, professionals um, who might not be players. Um, and then during the um, off season, there are mandatory programs that the security department goes out and communicates to the teams, to the full teams of players as well as um, coaches and other administrators. And then during the season, the, uh, there are mandatory programs uh, for the rookies. There's basically a nine week um, continuation of the life skills training to assist them in you know, acclimatizing them to, you're not in college, you're now a professional. As a professional, there are new programs that you, Mr. New Professional, need to be aware of. So assisting them with financial uh, wellness and safety, um, as well as what you might think is a bit mundane. So you have a person maybe that has, um, is from the West Coast that now is going to be a player with the New England Patriots. Some things that we have built into the programming, like helping this young man understand you have to get your driver's license changed over because you're working now. You're living in another state that requires, you know, you to be your registered, have a registered driver's license if you're driving a vehicle. Um, making sure that they understand um, how to deal with differences in climate and how sure. that affects your car. Um, and then there are other programs on interpersonal relationships and how to have healthy relationships and what an unhealthy relationship might look like. And then how to activate the services, how to understand or how to, how to work with a person like Kevin Anderson who's the director of player engagement, what his function is, explaining all that to them as part of this curricula. And then for the players who are more veteran or senior, we have professional development. So there's a professional development opportunity that's required. Some teams have others that are not mandatory, but because the players are interested and want to participate. And sometimes those might look like player, former player panels and maybe former players who've transitioned well, former players who did not transition well and allowing for the active veterans as well as the younger players to really communicate back and forth with them about, you know, what were the stumbling blocks that you had? How did you overcome them? How were you able to be successful? How do you build a resume? So we, we talk about a lot of different things that sometimes people like yourself and myself, since we're lawyers, we would have already built our resume when we were in college, then going into law school. For a lot of our players, they're learning while they're on the job because the average age is 22 when they're coming into the National Football League. We also work with, work with Lee Heck Harrison, um, and they assist players with resume building as well as interviewing skills and techniques and how to present themselves when they're um, working with, uh, say, a Fortune 500 company. Because oftentimes the players, are transi they're, pl they're transitioning from college into a professional environment, maybe not have had those types of experience on a regular basis. So the whole concept of how to communicate effectively when you're talking to an owner of a Fortune 500 company is not something that they're gonna have received in a class. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we know oftentimes players will go into broadcasting. What mm -hmm. other uh, fields in law or medicine uh, politics to the players uh, go into as well? The full spectrum. I, I, there was one young man who currently plays now who um, during his off season, so during February, March, April, he, w he wants to own his own franchise. So he worked at a store, a shoe store, because he wanted to learn the business from the ground up. So we have the full spectrum of interest, just like you know anybody else. We have lawyers, we've got doctors, we've got architects, we have people in the music industry, we have people that love to cook, that also happen to love to play football. We have artists, we have um, um, performers. I mean, the, the full spectrum. Yeah.
This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.